If you would like to, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on your notifications, that way you know when I upload my latest videos. I also would like to get to a 100,000 subscriber goal. You can also join my channel with memberships for a monthly subscription and you can follow me over on Twitter at It's Limey. I also have my own Roblox group called The Key Lime Pie, which you can join right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you another New Year's video for this event in Royal High because a lot of people have showed interest in my Vianchi video and kind of tips to how to get all of the bags that you need for the Vianchi Quest and it's helped some people but it hasn't helped others so I wanted to do another video covering more tips and tricks that we've kind of learned in the time span since that video so I'm going to be going over today some common locations for these bags and easy to miss spots and I'm also going to be going over some tips and tricks for searching which I did slightly mention in that video but um, I want to make it a lot more clearer and hopefully I will with this video so it's going to be a lot more clean cut and hopefully you'll be able to find those final bags that you need. We're going to activate Bianchi's quest now and look for some bags and I'm going to go over some common spots that even I overlook sometimes when I've been searching for these. Here we go then, 35 bags to find. Now, one of the spots that I found really difficult to spot these bags in is on lampposts. Now you see that these bags glow when they're on lampposts and also on stop signs as well or traffic lights and they blend in with the glowy light. Make sure to check every single lamppost in this realm to see if there are any bags hanging off of them like there is for this one. See, we have another bag over here on the lamppost as well. Some other common areas for these bags to spawn in that people miss is in these little alleyways next to buildings. So there's more than one of these, I think there's three in total, and I've seen them spawn in two of them at a time, but I, I imagine Imagine they can spawn in up to three. So next to the Pretty Girls Theatre is one of these and right next to the Jamanchi and Carl and Co. So you can literally just walk in there, collect that one up and we'll check all of the other spots as well because there is one on the other side of this building next to the Mean Girls poster or the, the Pretty Girls should I say and there is another one right there. You can just walk straight in there. They will only spawn at the gates, they won't spawn you know inside these alleyways and I, I haven't ever seen them spawn in there and I don't think they can just at the gates of them. There's also also another gated area next to the right of Jumanji and Carl and Co. So make sure you're checking this area as well. And there's also one on the other side of the apartments building. So make sure you check all of those. So that's the four different locations of those gated areas. So remember to look through those, all of them properly. So if we head to this train track area, this is the one on the right. Common locations for them to spawn is in these corners here. So often you'll find them spawning behind this wall and this is on both sides so it can happen either on this one this one and all the way over on the other side for the other train track areas and we'll check to see if there are any there but this is one that people often overlook because it's hidden behind this wall and when you're searching around you're just kind of looking for the glowy parts so this is one area that they like to spawn in and you probably miss a lot and i've had them spawn every time i've activated this quest i've had them spawn in one of these spots so it's a very very common one a lot of these are very commonly overlooked anyway and of course there's this one over here this happens a lot with these bags as well where they spawn in corners of buildings like this empty building here there's one that just spawns in the corner which you might overlook since it's in a glowy area and the glows tend to blend in with the glowing of the backdrop so you have to be looking very carefully so if you fly up to the train tracks now some tend to spawn on and around this area so we will have one on the track so they can spawn in these corners of the tracks they can spawn on top of the tunnels and they can spawn behind the tracks in this area as well there tends to be like one to four bags located on these tracks and they're usually on both sides so on this right train track over here and there's also one over there that we're going to check after this so we have three in this area one behind the wall one on the tracks and also one on top of the tunnel on this side Let's fly over to the other side now and check that area for bags. 
Like I said before, they tend to spawn on stop signs and they also spawn on this middle one sometimes as well. So make sure you are checking all of these lampposts properly. I wanted to mention this in this video, but I've never seen a bag spawn in this area, but I have seen shells spawn in this area. So if you're struggling with shells, maybe check out this ticket booth in the Pretty Girls uh, Theatre because one can spawn in this area and you can actually walk in here and you can walk through the side and you know get in there so i've seen a shell spawn in this area not sure if bags spawn in this area but you can always check it's worth a look so make sure to check out the theater booth so now we're on this side we're just going to quickly check these areas this area where the chest is and i'm gonna grab that um item actually it's the party hat for 2021 and of course we'll check this side as well and there's not over here so we'll check the train tracks on this side and yep i can spot one already right on the tracks here so i think it's just one in this area if i'm not mistaken yep only one and we have three on the other side so it's usually one to four i've seen spawning on the train track area so definitely take a look other areas i'd recommend checking out is these little gated areas here where they have a wall and they're next to buildings and they kind of got little trees in they can spawn in these areas and i often see them spawning in here every time i actually see one spawn in this area so make sure you're checking it properly so this one is located on the right uh, the pretty girls theater is over here I and mean, if you fly in this direction you'll find it so one spawns in this corner and i have seen them spawn um, in this place every single time that i've done this quest so a very common spawning spot and if we take a look here as well again like i said before they spawn um, in these little areas where they blend in you might miss it so make sure you're looking very carefully on the right side of the plaza area there is another gated area over here and i tend to see bags spawning in this area a lot but not always see i haven't had one spawn in here today but they have spawned in here and i've had them spawn in here before so make sure you check out this gated area as well and of course that is just over in this area here to the right of the plaza okay we're going to check out the park area now because i often see lots and lots of them spawning in this area every time i see one spawn on this wall block like every single time i've done this quest and that's three times now i always see one spawn on here so it's definitely worth checking so in this park area they can spawn on the wall posts and they can spawn on the snowman arms and i've seen them spawn in bushes sometimes just poking out of bushes so definitely check all of this area carefully see we have another one on the snowman's arm here so they always tend to spawn in this area a lot they can spawn around the edges as well so one here that's glowing so make sure you're checking very very carefully see we have one poking out of a bush here so they definitely can poke out of bushes and i don't think they spawn all the way in the bushes but just sort of out of them a little bit so check all of the bush areas in this park as well this post in the kind of right area that's where the sewers entrance is over there friendship drive so i always tend to see one spawning on one of these posts a lot as well Again, make sure you're checking all of the lampposts because they like to spawn on the lampposts a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay then, the Happy New Year area and this sort of area is where you're going to be missing a lot of them because the bags are glowy and this entire area is just so bright and glowy that they tend to blend in a lot. So before we even go into this area, what we're going to do is check the main archway and I just flown past that and I missed it already. So make sure you check this entire top area. So just above the new sign, there's a bag right on air here. This actual entranceway is a black uh, color so it blends in with the color of the bag and it glows and it blends in with the neon signs so you need to look carefully on there if we fly to this side we can check this area they tend to spawn on the top of these but there isn't one on there as far as i can see and we'll check the other side as well and i've seen them spawn on either of these and there's not one on there so that is good so before we you know look around this main area as well i'm going to check out behind every single part so where the photo booth is this photo booth area here 
I tend to see them spawning behind this and if you quickly run by you're not going to see these bags because they just blend right in with how glowy this area is. So make sure you check behind each one of these curtained areas. This photo booth one and the cake one to the other side as well and there tends to be one that spawns either both of them or on just one of them so make sure you're checking those areas. In these fenced off areas as well it's worth checking for the bags as well because these tend to be common spots for them to spawn but people tend to miss them because it's kind of slightly out of bounds so behind here I tend to see them spawning a lot um, and yeah just quickly check through them and see if there's any here and if you keep following this around there's little hideaway spots here where these little secret messages are and if you check behind those they don't always spawn there but they tend to spawn there often so we're just going to check the other side as well and the fenced off area behind this. So if we jump behind the fence, as you can see, this is on the other side of the stage now. There is one behind here, so make sure you don't miss those. And we're going to check this area. See, there's one that spawned right here and they tend to spawn behind these fences as well. So check all the way down here and I can see a bag that spawned behind this curtain where the cake is. So we're going to grab that one as well. Make sure you don't miss either of those. They tend to blend in with the surroundings because of how glowy it is. So this is the cake one. That's the photo booth one. Don't miss them. I also spotted one on top of these posts and this is the last two that we need. They often can spawn on these star areas as well where all these glowy stars are around the stage area and next to lights because they blend in and they're difficult to spot so people tend to miss them a lot. So there is this one on top of here and there is also one right on top of here as well. So one of the most common ones is that it spawns on this top of this building. They don't spawn on any other tops of buildings except for these little ones next to the stage. Um, and that's the only tops of buildings I've seen them spawn on, but they can spawn on all of these stars along the stage and these trusses as well. So make sure you're not missing all of them and they tend to spawn very often in this area. We have all of the bags now and those are some of the most common spots for the bags to actually spawn in. And what I'm going to go over now is some tips for how to search for bags if you're still not able to find them. So a lot of these tips are community suggested but I wanted to just quickly go over them for you so you can have an easier time searching for these bags. The first one is that they never spawn on the moon, so the moon that is up there behind these ball drops, and they never spawn in the sewers. So don't check any of those areas, they never spawn there, don't waste your time. The sewers is a maze, so you're wasting a lot of time looking down there when they don't even spawn down there, so don't bother. Another thing that you can do is change the filters. So if you click on the YouTube button on the GUI, there are lighting filters you can use, and the black and white filter tends to be the easiest one to use as it reduces a lot of the glow in areas and it makes it a lot easier to spot bags. Obviously I didn't use it in this video but it is a tip and it is helpful to certain people if you have trouble you know distinguishing colours and things so maybe this is a tip that might help you a lot spotting bags. Another thing I mentioned in my last video on these bag quests is that you have to search every single area very carefully so what I meant by that is go through each area super carefully and check that you haven't missed any areas where the bags could be in so obviously we're in this area right now the happy new year area where the stage is and you check the stage area first and then when you know you haven't missed any you can tick it off and then you can go to the park area and look through all that entirely and properly and see if you have missed any and then you can go down these roads and follow it kind of clockwise or anti-clockwise make sure you haven't missed any areas check the train tracks and then you know that you haven't missed anywhere as when we were searching for all of these bags i was mentioning that some areas are a little bit more secret and harder to find like the train track areas some areas that are behind walls that if you walk around and look closely you'll be able to spot them easily but if you're looking from a distance you won't be able to see them so that's little areas behind you know the stage area and behind the train tracks and the walls in front of the train track tunnels so make sure you're checking all of those little 
uh, harder spots to find. Another thing you can do is fly high up in the sky and turn your graphics up. So if we put the graphics up to halfway so we can actually see the map, we fly up in the sky and you might be able to spot glowing spots around the map. And that might be something that will help you. It will definitely help you find the bags on the lampposts and those areas because that helped me a lot the first time I was doing this quest. And the last tip for you guys is that if you are still struggling to find the bags, if you quit the game or the server that you're on without quitting the quest, then the amount of bags that you found will stay the same, but the time that you join a new server the locations where they were the first time will be swapped around so they might be in a different location and might be easier for you to spot them so if you're struggling with say maybe three two or one bags left to find if you leave the server and join another those bags will be put into a different location you might be able to find them easier so that is something that is definitely worth trying especially if you have little amounts of bags left to find say three or two or one anyway let's grab our heels from Vianchi and get him to stop crying at us um, because we found all of the bags. So that's it for this video. Hope it helped and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.